The only thing I can say now is that we are very much looking forward to an update on the search for the Higgs boson very soon. Stay tuned, what's next? I don't know, we will see. Next week I'm going to be sleeping two hours every night and I'm going to be a zombie. Everything kind of comes together very quickly. I slept actually about seven hours last night. For the previous three, it was probably uh, about one hour a night. Even when you sleep, you, you try to think, maybe I, I missed that detail, or maybe, maybe I should do that check. We're all getting ready for the big conference on uh, July 4th. It's going to take time before we can make a statement about whether the Higgs is there or not. The more data we add, the, the closer we get to the end of this part of the story. And, uh, we're going we're gonna to see what the answer is. We have the capability of making a serious statement. So it's nerve-wracking because you want to be sure of your results. And there's a lot of work to do this. It's exciting. It's also, I mean, a big responsibility, right? I mean, you want to make sure that you did it right. Every time we make a, a, a set of public results, we also have a, a, gr a grand combination which combines all of those analysis trends. You piece it together piece by piece, but when we combine them, we can make a, a statement. So that's the exciting time. This is where you know people usually see the results for the first time. To people who had not been directly working on preparing the talk, you know, they were somehow at the mercy of the speaker. That uh, you know, until you get to see the next slide, you you don't, you don't get to see the result. It's hard to explain actually what happened because it's not, right, it's not what anybody expected. It could be that you know, the Higgs has different properties than we expected. We're in a point of confusion. So it's, I mean, I think I think the only thing that will solve it is more data.